This is Clayton Bishop with High Tech Instruments, Zeiss Business Partner, and I want to go through the software in Zen Core for multi-phase analysis and porosity. So I'm going to share my screen here so we can see my Zen Core. We have this software workflow for multi-phase analysis. So let's go through this and how you can get great results from your samples. So we have a picture right here. Take it on a Zeiss microscope. You can choose any, anywhere that you've taken on this computer. And we'll press next. For my second step, I can add brightness or contrast. You can see the live image change as I do this. So you can artificially enhance the photo to increase the contrast for phases. You could have it at no contrast additions. You could double it. You could make it 10. This is about to look wild. Yeah, see? So we'll just increase it a little bit so that we can see the contrast more. In the next step, you can set up different classes. So you could add as many as 32 phases on here. You can rename them. This particular example I see three so we're going to do three and you can change the color okay so this is where we just tell it all the different phase classes moving on we have the frame setup so in here you can choose to analyze the whole image or you could draw a frame so we could just say let's analyze in this section here that's what's important to us you could also draw say a polygon or a circle, whatever it is that identifies the area you want to measure most. So next, this is where we do our segmentation thresholding. So I'm going to reset all of these sliders. And let's go to work. So we're going to start with the dark. We want to select the dark sections with our mouse. So I'm clicking in here. I am capturing everything that is this dark. Cool. And I could increase the opacity or decrease it so that we see everything in here and make sure that we've got it all. I've also got some sliders down here so I can increase the minimum object size. We don't want to count some of this. So watch what happens as I decrease it. We pick those things up. As I increase it, we remove them. So let's say I want to set it to 15 pixels. Now I'm going to move to the other classes. Let's go to the middle class. When I go into the middle class, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select what I want to assign for the middle class. So I just clicked on that phase and it added. Up here you can see the middle is a little bit lighter, so I'm going to have to click on that too. Good. So now we've got the middle. Finally, I'm going to do this with the light class. Zooming in and picking the background. And look at that. We've just got about everything selected between the light, middle, and dark classes on our multi phase sample. This looks pretty good. After you do the color based segmentation, you have the opportunity to do region filters on each of the classes. So, as an example, let's say I wanted my dark regions to have a minimum and maximum diameter. So I'm going to add diameter and I'm going to click on the smallest piece I see in here that I want to count. So that and now I set a minimum. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to say that's the maximum I want. And so now we've selected all these purple pieces that fit between that minimum and that maximum. If I made this maximum eight, we're going to launch this piece up here in the top right disappear. OK, so now I might decide that I want it to be 9.5. So we include these. You can also add other features separate to other classes. Let's say in here. I wanted it to have um, a certain perimeter. As an example, I can now go into the middle class. Select the minimum. Select the maximum. My computer's catching up with me a little bit. But you can add 
and subtract and watch how my minimum values change in there. You can also get rid of the minimum minimum entirely, or you can make that uh, any number you like. Cool. Finally, you have interactive segmentation, so I can come in here. I can say I don't like what's going on in here. Let's remove it from the middle class or even from the light class. Now there's nothing being counted there. You could reassign something. Say is dark for whatever reason. You just have a chance to manually add and subtract in this fifth step. Finally, you get a histogram. But what most people are after here is this wheel. And so you can see the breakdown of the different phases in the area that we're measuring. And if we press exit loop, you will have the opportunity to print this port report as a PDF. And it comes out nice, and you're able to evaluate your results. Thank you for listening, and enjoy the Zeiss Zen Core multi phase analysis module.